So we just did the forehand side. Let's go on the backhand side. Can you uh, show me the swing? Your swing, backhand? how you played yesterday. Yes, the backhand swing. Backhand? Yes. Okay. One more time. Okay. This is too much rotation. I don't think you can be consistent hitting the ball clean. So let's break it down a little bit. I'm going to give you six balls and then you're going to tell me if it's the ball center or off center from your strings. Okay. And your backhand is going down the line. Go. Off center. Off center. Good. Off center. Off center. Off center. Okay. Center. Good. Center. Yes. Center. Yes. Center. Yes. Center. Very good. That was great. Slow down the swing. Go back to zero. Go to one. Try to swing slowly. Where is the contact point when you want to go down the line? Right here. Here. So, although we go down the line, arms out a little bit. It's in front of your body. So in reality, it's cross court. If you're going down the line, traditionally, what happened? That angle is going to the middle of the court mm -hmm. because you're late. Yeah. So although you go down the line, in your mind, you want to play like cross court. You treat the ball like you play cross court. So this is a contact point, right? Yes. Now, finishing off. Same as the forehand. We try to get the triangle, same level as your ear. Do you agree? Yes. Here. Hold it there. There's a few pointers we want to accomplish here. Triangle, same level as your ear. Elbow, left elbow, 90 degree. The other big part, important part as a reference, hold it, be comfortable doing that. The bad cap points to the net. There's a few problems can happen, okay, to break it down. If your backhand breaks down, bad cap now points up to the sky. Mm -hmm. What happens to the ball? It goes up to the sky and out. Most likely it's gonna fly up. Your backhand will just show me the first couple shots. Well, look forward. Bad cap points over there. What happens? It goes over there. So if your bad cap points over there, that means you're late. That everything is too close to you. So this reference is helping you. Yes. This reference, the triangle, gives you the timing that is consistent. And this, the elbow being high enough, gives the depth of the ball. Do you understand? So now you're gonna hit the ball. And I want you to tell me if the triangle is by your ear or not. Okay, let's go. Mm, yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Mm, yes? No. Yes? No. It's a little bit too far. A uh. little bit too far. Slow down. Slow. Yes. No. Slow down. Hear me out. Slow. Medium speed. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Yes? Very good. So now I got him involved. I want his communication to tell me if he's like, you know, the proper way or kind of there or very off. First we started off with a contact point, the ball and the strings. Then we have the finish point with a triangle. So in most part, I think he was very consistent and accurate to the information. Sometimes we coaches from the sideline or from the other side, we give the information to the kids and tell them, do like this, do that. And the kids are like, but I'm doing it. In reality, they might not see it. So we try to help them that by getting involved to sense and feel it, how it's supposed to look and how it's supposed to be actually be done. At the same time, by having him involved, now I want his opinion. He might say like, I feel this way better. I feel this way gives me more power if I go a little farther back. We can go to the next level by having a better communication like that and more involvement. Do you feel comfortable applying that when you rally and playing yes. points? I think so. You should be able to adapt and to do it, okay? What you just did, we try to clean up a little bit of technique, especially after competition. So when you start the week clean and fresh, 
you have some clues what you work on. We did the forehand and backhand from one corner. We can definitely do it from the other corner as well, from different parts of the court. We can do back and inside out from here. We can do forehand down the line, many varieties. So you have to details slowly, emphasizing it and repeat it for muscle memory. Clear? Yes. Very good. Put your jacket on. I explained to Alex what I want to accomplish with the practice today was to make sure we go back to basics after competition, make sure we clean up the technical level. At the same time, I want him to feel more present, more engaged and more uh, self-aware of his body and the racket. Because sometimes they play too long, they're winning, they feel excited, but the grip is changing, the follow-through is changing. The take back is getting bigger because they're excited because they're winning. They don't want to admit that it's something incorrect. So we want to backtrack a little bit, calm down, go back to basics and do it a little bit calmer and cleaner and get them better to improve. Sometimes the kids, they underperformed. The technique is not good. They try to blame other stuff. In reality, we try to give them more confidence that, hey, you do the right things. Maybe we can pace yourself better, be more present in the moments. Don't try to look at just the results, just the winning and losing, like, you know, points and aces and power and winners. We try to hit the ball clean. Do your part to get behind the ball. Make sure like you're doing over and over the same shot and be consistent and the rest comes alone. So certain details for this age that it is important to keep reminding them. And as coaches, results is not that important right now. Just build consistency, build repetition with a muscle memory in the shots and the results gonna come much easier as we kind of like hoping to get because if you focus just results you might win all good you feel confident yes but you might not have the right i would say skills and form in a consistent basis so the next progression next level after what we just did is me the coach and the player try to rally and have the same form from the students so we have to expect to have like in the triangle by the ear on both sides and make sure he's like you know controlling the ball controlling the shots so you always try to upgrade the information without getting overwhelmed and breaking down the student but try to repeat it clearly with details and at the same time long term like you know he's storing the information so it doesn't break down when he plays matches or points or he's by himself because he knows how to correct himself because sometimes the parents drop off the kids and go and play we expect the kids to like be take ownership and be accountable and do the right form but sometimes they don't do it because they're goofing around and they feel like you know it's too cool to try some different shots so hopefully we try to promote the proper way, the right form, which will be healthy for the wrist, healthy for the elbow, healthy for the shoulder, and be consistent and have clarity what they're doing. That's the end goal.